Good morning, everybody. It's Carrie from Texas. How are we doing today? I'm popping in today to do a makeup tutorial. I haven't done one in a while, and I so I thought today would be a good day. It's really hot down here in Texas already, so I got the volume as loud as I can get it in hopes that you can hear me because I've got that fan going and that fan going because it is really hot. So, uh, what have I done already? I've put my milk stick here. I've done my moisturizer, and I've done my cookies and cream um, matte primer. And so, um, now I'm going to go in with my color corrector and then which is my Chanel the lightest color then I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier daily moisturizer those are my two go-to's and um, let's get started I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are and that your August is underway and uh, soon we'll be at Labor Day which marks the end of summer and I'm so glad it has been a really long, hot, very difficult summer for me. I um, have some pretty serious personal things going on um, that are not easy to deal with and uh, That is never an easy thing when there's stuff going on in your personal life and it feeds over into everything else, but we're getting there. We're managing. All right, color corrector looks pretty good. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, it's been a while since I've been in. I just have had too much going on with my businesses and my my family just to do the day-to-day -day things that I need to do so I'm sorry I haven't been here for a while uh, wherever you are I hope that you are having a productive summer I know I'm doing some reading yesterday and I see that there are so many people that have decided to start traveling again um, and that's a good thing you know it kind of shows that people are trying to get back into the normalness of our lives post COVID uh, I just wish that we had a better economy everywhere not just here in the United States, but everywhere. It sure would make everyone's life easier. You know, money's one of those things. It's great to have it, and it you know it certainly makes your life easier. Love this Noah concealer, by the way. I've been using it about a month now, and it it's by far. I didn't think anybody could beat the Elf product, but this. For older ladies is phenomenal it goes on like butter it blends it's light it doesn't crease um, I'm 60 years old and I, I am absolutely blown away by this concealer um, and it looks like I'm you know using a lot here but I'm not I am just dabbing with this little sponge thing and I, I think this is a big part of why it's so easy to work with because um, you're not it kind of prevents you from using too much and I think that's really ingenious and the formula the formula is is just the best formula that I've worked with and I have to say this, but I'm going to say it anyways, ever. I mean, it just goes on so smooth. Um, there's never any wrinkling. It doesn't split. It just gives you this beautiful, natural coverage. Um, 
And you'll see here when I finish this eye, what I'm talking about. It just, it just is, it's remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Look at that. I mean, that's just, that's just astounding. And I use my fingers because I have a tendency to have very, as we all know, very sensitive eyes. And so I just am trying to be very careful not to get any products in my eyes. I have started a new prescription to help with the growth of my eyelashes. And so I'm just trying to be extremely careful to make sure that I don't get any products in my eyes. I need to use my little uh, wand here. Where is it, Carrie? Here it is. And just make sure that's not in my eye and it's not. I'm gonna use a little bit more just right here. Sleeping much better these days. I think it's. trying to turn the television off a little bit earlier and just relax and let my body drift off to sleep and I think it's working a little bit better for me now. All right. Wow. See, now that's just I, I just am blown away. <laughs> I just am blown away. I think it's, I think it's probably one of the best products that I've ever used. I'm gonna go in real quick here, and I'm going to fix one of my eyebrows. I kind of hit it with my uh, concealer, so I'm just gonna come back in and fix that a little. This one too. Love that product, ladies. If you're an older lady like me and you are um, struggling a little bit with your skin tones, I'm not really struggling, but you know, just as you get older, your your skin changes so much, and and um, this product under here, ugh, it's the bomb. I mean, really, really is. And I'm using that in combination with a pink under eye powder. And I've tried a few and they're all great. Um, I think it's the tones that are in the powder that make the difference in the, in the coverage actually. I'm using a little square triangle and I'm just gonna come in. I'm gonna dab under my eyes just to set that. Go up on the top. Cause I use that concealer as a primer for my eyelids too. Uh, I don't like, or I should say I haven't been able to find an eyelid primer that doesn't bother my eyes. So I'm just using that concealer um, to set my uh, eyelids too. All right. Now look at that. That is amazing. Two products, the Joa concealer And I'm using the um, Laura Geller pink powder. And you tell me. Wow. Phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Okay. So we got that done. So now I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to use my Fendi. This is my Fendi powder foundation. It's a powder and a foundation, so it gives it gives you just a little bit more 
uh, coverage. It is not heavy at all. Um, but what it does for me, I find, is it just gives me that little bit more um, coverage on the spots on my face that are age spots. Um, and what I do is I just, I just take my brush and I just buff it on my face. Down on, onto my neck. And like I said, all I'm doing is just buffing this on my face. Just giving myself that little bit of um, additional coverage, but light for the summertime. And I'm not going anywhere today except to the dollar store. <laughs> so I don't need uh, a whole lot of coverage. Very nice. Fendi. This is in the lightest color and it's just a really, really beautiful powder foundation. Use that to, to cover everything. All right. Now, I will tell you, I also use this infallible L'Oreal. This is white powder. I use this, but I'm finding that I'm getting better protection with the pink rather than the white. And so um, I use this when I, I use this to sweep away eyeshadow when I'm using a really dark color that has a lot of fallout, like a gray or a blue or something like that, because I find that that really does sweep that excess away. Um, okay, so today we're going to, let me use my LA Colors Glow to do the definition on my cheeks. I just come in and I just pick up all these colors right here and I just build a little bit of definition on that big cheekbone right there not a lot just a little bring it up in here come up under my hair just a little Underneath here. There. And I, I just don't feel like you need a whole lot of that, you know, unless you're going out, you know, and you're getting really dressed up and all that kind of stuff. I, I personally, it's my opinion, if you like to do it every day, go for it, ladies. Um, I'm, I'm not here to tell you what to do or what not to do. I'm just here to explain what I do, and maybe that'll help you along the way. I also use my LA Color... Uh, Glamour. This is a wonderful palette. I love this because I do wear a lot of grays. Um, I absolutely adore this palette. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to come in with my big fluffy brush. And I do always take a damp towel and I just kind of swirl the brush around just to get any... I also blow on it to get any excess off from yesterday when I was using this particular brush. Okay, so I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna use a combination of these grays right here. And I'm just gonna tap, I'm just tapping my brush. And I'm gonna come up in here to my crease. And I'm just gonna go back and forth, windshield wiper motion, and just build. is up into that brow bone. Uh, this gives my eye lift and makes my eye wider. And because my eyes are so dark, I try to stay away from really, from really, really dark shadows. Um, unless I'm looking for a really sultry, romantic, seductive look. Um, because my eyes are so dark. All right, so windshield wiper, I'm just making sure it's nice and smooth. Wonderful color. These are great palettes, they really are. They're a great value for everyday makeup. Now I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna take this white color 
and I'm going to come across my eyelid down into the corner open that eye up down into the bottom right here up onto the brow bone underneath my brow and do the same on this lid I've had this palette for probably oh gosh close to a year and there is still so much left in it I mean look at that and the colors are phenomenal it's a great neutral palette um, and the and the price point for these are just you know it's drugstore makeup but it works really good I, I just don't believe you have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to find products that work for you on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, there's just so much on the market. You know, the, the retailers and the manufacturers are doing just a phenomenal job making it accessible to people of all income levels. And um, they're good products. And I just don't think you have to spend a fortune you know, day to day. Obviously, if you've got a, a beautiful big event somewhere, you know, just like I would, I would find specialty products that I'm that I want to use because I want to look my very best. Okay, now I'm taking that gray and I'm putting it on my lower waterline. Give my bottom eye some definition. Same kind of motion, just real gently sweeping it back and forth. And I'm going to take this bottom color right here, I'm going to come in, and I'm going to define that area on my top eyelash line because I don't have long lashes at this point. I'm working on it. I've got a new prescription, and uh, I'm definitely seeing some growth. I'm excited about that. my computer telling me I got another email so I'd love to hear from you guys if anybody out there is using this Joa uh, concealer I'd really like to get your feedback and see if you're having the same experience I'm having with this with it um, I just think it's a wonderful product unfortunately it's a little hard to find uh, it took me a while to find it um, I finally just gave up and did it online because I couldn't find it at any CVS. You can only find it at CVS. So, um, all right. So now I do have a little bit of fallout. So I am going to come in with my my L'Oreal white powder, and I'm just going to dab it in in here, and then I'm going to come under my eyes and just sweep away all of that fallout. I think it's the consistency of the powder and the tone depth of the powder that makes um, sweeping all this out so much better than some of the other products. Um, it's very light too. So great product. It is L'Oreal Infallible and they're in these little containers and they're white and it's white powder, loose powder. All right. Let me put on some lipstick. Let me get my eyeglasses so I can read to you this one. This is, um, wrong wing. This is Spicy Cinnamon number 641. It is a Revlon lipstick and it is pearl. I'm 
made a little mistake right there. All right. Goodness, can't get that to fix right. All right. Now, blush. Ta-da! I am so excited to be able to share. I finally, finally have it, and I am over the moon with this. Um, I am a little surprised how small it is. Right? A little surprised. But it's Christian Dior, so, you know, all things that come in small packages are normally pretty good. So, you know, I... Um, I'm not going to complain about it. Oh, I just love this color. Oh, taking my brush and putting it in the apples of my cheeks. It just gives you this unbelievably beautiful, natural, youthful blush. Oh, just absolutely adore this blush. And, you know, when you get older, you want to look you want to use products, at least in my opinion, that make you look younger. And this, I mean, look at that. Look, there's no, oh, it just, this is phenomenal. It's worth every penny. It really, really, really is worth every penny. It took me a long time to find it, but it is worth every penny. Um, and it is the, let me just read it to you. I'm sure you know what it is, but it is the, um, Dior Backstage Rosy Glow 001 Pink. Love it. So glad that I finally found it. And thank you so much, everybody, for sending me so many great tips on how to find it. I really appreciate that. I love this community. You know, we're all just helpful and, um, encouraging and supportive and you know trying to lift each other up and I, I just think that's so phenomenal in our world today and I so appreciate everybody's encouraging words to continue to make these you know I'm not a pro makeup artist um, sorry I gotta fix this before it all falls all over the floor I'm just a lady who loves makeup and and a business owner who likes to share on a channel and um, I appreciate so much I'm trying to find my makeup mirror so I can curl my eyelashes here all right let's go in with these this bad boy I'm finally seeing tiny little new growths on my eyelids you know, I had those eyelashes put on and oh, what an absolute fiasco that was. Oh my goodness. I don't know that I will ever, ever, ever put false eyelashes back on. Okay, now before I do my mascara, I'm just going to come in with my powder here and define that a little bit. Set my blush. I'm just taking my loose powder and I'm just patting my, patting it all in, setting it. All right, now I'm using my Believe mascara. Um, I haven't found a, a, the right mascara yet, and I'm, I'm working on that. If you have any suggestions for very sensitive eyes, I would really love some feedback. Um, what I used to work with, I can't use anymore for some reason. I used to have that, uh, I think it was Revlon or L'Oreal, and it was the white and the black, and it was in a red and white cylinder, but I can't use that anymore. My eyes don't like it. and. Um, so I'm on the prowl for a new um, 
mascara. I used Thrive for a while, but every time I bought the Thrive, it dried out on me in like two weeks. And I'm not sure why, because I know I was closing, you know, sealing it up. So I'm not sure what happened, but it happened two times in a row. And so I just got frustrated and didn't buy it again. So if you have any suggestions, ladies and gentlemen, I would love to hear from you. All right, I'm just starting at the bottom of my lashes and working up. They're doing, this eye is doing much better than the other eye. It looks pretty good. It looks like it's almost completely recovered from the burns that I had. Size getting there, these little tiny buds of eyelashes that I'm seeing. Wasn't it sad yesterday that we lost Olivia Newton John? She was a remarkable woman. And I think her legacy. I posted another video yesterday about her and I do really believe her legacy is that she was probably one of the finest humans all the way around, inside out. Um, she had this incredible uncanny knack of bringing people together and, and She just had one of the purest souls, you know, and you can, you can tell when somebody is like that, when they pass and you read all the comments and they're all the same. They all say the same thing. I really believe that is her legacy is that we all have to start treating each other better. I, I really believe that is her legacy. And um, her family should be just so incredibly proud of her. All right, let's look. Looks pretty good, everybody. Um, I don't think I'm gonna put lip gloss on today. I just like the kind of matte look that I got going on here. Put my eyeballs on. And there we go. So, have a wonderful day wherever you are. Hope your week's going well. Thank you for stopping by and joining me this morning. And um, stay out of the heat. Stay out of the heat from 10 to 4. That's the best time. Oh, one more thing I forgot to do. One more thing. I am going to use my white eyeliner. And I'm going to go in on the bottom line. Right up. Oh well, it won't be doing that. That one goes in the trash can. Thank you for stopping by here at this channel, which is Carrie Devlin's Coggins. We are here to help you successfully have it all. We can share our life's experiences as a business owner and as a mom and all those good things. And if I can help you along the way, then that's my way of giving back and saying thank you to um the universe for 
giving me the opportunity to live such a wonderful life and um, I appreciate the fact that you are here and taking the time to watch my video God bless make sure if you do leave me a comment and and um, subscribe if you would and don't forget make sure you hit that bell so you know the next time I post a video God bless everybody thank you for watching today and I'll see you in my next video have a great day bye